Hey everyone, Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I am doing a walkthrough of the Splitting Grail quest, the high version. Uh, so you're going to want to get to Dark Isle. I, I'm lifestoned here, so you know I just uh, recall to the lifestone. But if you're not, you can go uh, through Visadel. Um, you know, that's really the only other way to get here that I know of anyway. Um, so you're going to want to run to the Abyssal Totem Gateway at these coordinates, 86.5 north, 57.3 east. It's basically just straight northwest from the Dark Isle Life Zone. And you're looking for the Mukir Progenitor. So this guy right here, uh, hopefully didn't drag too many Dark Isle guys with me. Try to run to get to a clean spot if I can. I got some shadows that chase me, but that's okay. I, shadows pretty easy to kill if I need to. Um, so you're going to want to kill this Mookier Progenitor. I should have switched to my uh, Mookier Slayer. Well, let's try it now. Yeah, much better. Too oh, that was a critical hit, so maybe not much better. Okay, so once you kill the Mookier Progenitor, you're going to need to loot a Progenitor's Icker. If you have already done the quest, you don't actually need to do this again, so it's not going to let me pick it up again. But I will show you where to turn it in anyway. So once you pick up the Icker, you're going to go to Iron Bakur. So again, I'm I uh, am lifestone tied there, so it's very easy for me to get there. But if you're not, you can ask, um, you know, on the server for a uh, you know a portal to Iron. You can tie to the Panopticon portal, and someone could summon that for you. But we're going to run into town and speak with Hoshar ibn Jalak, who, uh, or hand the Icker to him, who will flag us for the quest. I guess I'll talk to him and see what happens. Yeah, so he'll tell you if you're strong enough, you can go to those coordinates and bring him the Icker of the Progenitor. You'll hand him the Icker and then he'll flag you to go into the Abyssal Totem Gateway. So I'm going to go back to Dark Isle. We're going to run back actually exactly to where we just were, which is convenient to the Abyssal Totem Gateway. Now, once you're flagged, that's gonna act as a portal device. And the great thing, like I was saying, it wouldn't even let me pick up that item is because once you do it once, you're permanently flagged to go into this dungeon. So it's really nice, very quick quest once you're already flagged. And the flagging is not even that difficult unless you can't get to Iron Bacor easily for whatever reason. All right, so we're going to run back to that Abyssal Totem Gateway. All you have to do now is just use it. Uh, it kind of looks like an NPC on the map. So, yeah, okay, so it shows up shows up yellow like an NPC. Just this cool green uh, chalice. And it says, seems to sense your presence and recognize you. It teleports you into the Temple of the Abyssal Totem. Uh, yeah, so this dungeon is full of Mook here. We're just going to run through past most of them until we get to the end. It's pretty linear except for one portion in which when you get to that where you have an option, you're just going to want to go left. And other than that, it's pretty straightforward how to get through. So this is where you would have a choice. You could go straight or you could go right, but we're gonna go left up the ramp and continue on to the north. Down through this opening in the ground. Again, it's the only way you can go. Once you see the surface portal, you'll know that you are at the end. So there's the surface portal off to the right. You can see it on the map. And now you're going to see the Abyssal Totem, which is what we're here to destroy. First, we're going to hopefully not die to all these mook here. Thankfully, I restocked on my Dispel Gem so I can... 
hit that. Really don't want to die in here. <laughs> Probably could have been a little bit more careful about how I fought this instead of just running straight into it, but it's not fun unless you make it more risky, you know? Alright, my summon is back. I'm not actually sure if this Mukir Slayer is better than my Corrupted Rare. I got it, so I might as well use it. Alright, so now we're going to need to destroy the Abyssal Totem, which I guess that's what my summon was doing instead of helping me. Um, so I can cast my Void DOTs on this, but you can't try to uh, Imperil or Vuln it. It uh, is, you fail to affect Abyssal Totem with it. I do know other people who use like a Royal Rune or a Princely Rune weapon to proc the cast on strike of those weapons, which basically casts Imperil. Uh, so you could do that. And the other weird thing about this is that if I cast an arc on it, they miss for some reason. So you need to use, if you're a mage, bolts. I only do 140 damage to this for some reason, uh, which is barely anything. But thankfully, having summons uh, kind of not easily get through it, but, you know, are actually able to get through it. Uh, it's much easier if you have, like, an archer or a two-handed character who have, um, you know, bludgeon weapons. Uh, maybe a mage with uh, Tusker Fists. I'm not actually sure how many of the Tusker Fists would hit it, but that could be a good option. Void is probably the worst thing for whatever reason. So once you kill it, after a couple of seconds, some rubble is going to appear on the ground, which is much bigger than the actual totem itself, which is kind of funny, but you're going to pick up a shard of the Abyssal Totem, which looks like this. And now we're going to go back to Hoshar in Ayn Bakor, for our rewards. So I'm gonna put on my experience trinket so that I get the full rewards from this. You also get a pretty cool helm that has 24,000 mana, so it's really good for recharging your mana stones, or it's actually a pretty cool looking helm. It's got like a mohawk on it. So yeah, 12,000 Luminance, Helm of the Abyssal Totem, and 250 million experience for, you know, not too much effort. Let me show you what the Helm looks like. Put on my, uh, show off my cool bandana. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool Helm. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just use it to recharge my mana stones, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.